talking about drama in the classrooms. I will introduce what creative drama is, its benefits for the kids and the teachers, as well as some types of activities and games that enhance drama in classes with different kinds of puppets as well. Before I proceed, don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. What is creative drama? Actually, it is a playful and a funny way to introduce or practice any concept and to evaluate kids as well. It involves child's imagination, body, and voice. Creative drama incorporates and integrates many areas of the curriculum. Why to use creative drama? Participating in dramatic plays enables to experience growth in all areas. It helps kids develop their emotions and social skills. It stimulates their imagination that leads to cognitive and creative development. It improves their motor skills and boosts confidence in speaking and reading. Moreover, kids can learn etiquette and how to participate in the group. As for teachers, they can assess students through drama plays. Teachers can tell if students are integrating with others, frustrated or angry, dependent or independent, and how they are manipulating with their peers. They can also assess the kind of language used, how their students retell a story, whether they like to pretend or imagine, and finally, whether they are good communicators or not. Now, it's time for drama on floor. Here, I have prepared some activities and games that teachers can use in their classes. I will start with a body movement game. It is an easy dramatic game since teachers can prepare it quickly. All you have to do is to jot the actions that you want your students to act out on small strips. Fold them and scramble them in the container. Then let students pick one strip randomly and act out what's on the strip this way. Squeeze the lemon and drink it. Normally, students will squeeze the lemon and drink it. Here, the teacher interferes. How could you squeeze the lemon before you get the lemon? You get the squeezer. You cut the lemon into two pieces. Then you squeeze the lemon, pour it in a cup, and drink it. Wow, it's yummy. Have your students even talk about what they are doing and express their feelings. Another game is transformation game. Get any gadgets for students and have them transform its original use. Here I have chosen a scarf. Its original use is to put around the neck like this. Now pass it on students and have them transform it. One student might tell you it's a cloth for cleaning. Other student might say it's a baby sleeping. Other kid might say, it's a skirt that I wear around my hips, and so on. You can also get other gadgets like cups, uh, combs, and so on. I'll move to the imaginary hat now. Wearing an imaginary hat is so beneficial, especially for shy students who cannot express their inner self easily. When wearing an imaginary hat, you are not you anymore. This is what I tell my students in class. With this hat that I have designed, students can reflect and talk freely about their inner character. I am a doctor now. It's not Ray anymore. The character bag is so much funny for kids where they build up so many hilarious events in a story using a variety of characters. Kids might support you teachers with any small toy. Gather the toys and make your character bag. Now teachers can start the story by choosing any character, then passes the box randomly on students to continue the events of the story until they find an ending. I will start this way. One day, Bear was sad sitting in the forest, lonely. Let, a, let other child choose a character randomly. Suddenly, Monkey saw the sad bear up on the tree. 
another child. Then the tiger wanted to attack the bear. Continue this procedure till you reach all of the kids in the class. Then tell me about the ending. Mirrors are important in drama. They do not only reflect the outer images, but teachers can find out the inner reflections of each student. Pass the mirror on each student and have him or her express their feelings toward a character. Let them have a self-talk about any concept with the mirror, or even to tell the mirror one adjective or one secret about themselves. This way, teachers can tell so many things about the characters she is dealing with. Creating silly characters is also a fun way for kids to react, retell, and to be involved, since they like to wear costumes. It is easy for them to build their own too. Children can support teachers with costumes as well to share with their mates and to have a variety of a big collection. All you teachers have to do is to guide and watch how students mingle with each other to create their characters, then have them elaborate why they have chosen their costume, interpret or retell a story, or even create their own sketch. Now, I am a princess. And now, I am a clown. Now that I have showed you some games that can be used in class, I move to show you some kinds of puppets that kids can use while teachers can assess and evaluate them. Most of us have played with puppets or have pretended to be other characters and tried out different quirky voices. Long ago, the use of puppets was mainly for entertainment purposes. Puppets were just like dolls, like any other toy we owned. However, nowadays, using puppets is so crucial to instill and implant learning in young children. Here are some kinds of puppets that I have prepared for you, such as stick puppets, human arm puppet, marionette, finger puppets, hand puppets, and sock puppets. Now, let's take each kind separately and talk about it. Stick puppets. These kinds of puppets are easily prepared by the teachers or students themselves. All you have to do is to draw or print out related characters to any story given in class and glue the images on a stick. Here I have prepared some examples. Then, have students choose the stick puppets to retell the story or provide new endings or solutions. I have chosen this story where mom dot, where's the spot? Spot the dog, help each other to plant a tree. Give the sticks to your kids and let them play and retell. Mommy, mommy, please, I wanna plant a tree. Can you help me out? Sure, little dog, I will help you out. Woof, 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 woof. Oh, mom, look. Spot wants to help as well. Okay, Spot, let us dig a hole. Woof, 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 woof. Now, come and help me to plant the tree. And they all help each other plant the tree. Finger puppets. These kinds of puppets are also easily prepared by the teachers or by the parents. All you have to do is to draw or print out character images and glue them on a cardboard that fits your kid's finger. Baby finger. What about the cow finger? You can also print out characters this way. Just make two pinches so that your fingers fit. Then the character can walk. can be transformed into characters. Imagine that. Socks can be designed by teachers, students, and parents as well. This shows creativity in making characters. 
Here I have designed a funny female and male characters. I used the wool for the hair, some wiggly eyes, pompa for the nose, and I have decorated the hat as well. Now these characters are going to celebrate a birthday party. Sure, you can design other characters that aid any concept you want to explain or to use to retell stories. See you later, we are going to celebrate. Let's go, bye bye. These two kinds of puppets, hand puppets and the marionette, have the same target, whether in introducing new concepts, explaining a lesson, retelling stories, or singing songs. I have chosen a doll, any doll that you have at home or your students support you with. All you have to do is to attach strings to it and a rod, then the marionette can move. While these hand puppets are available in stores, you can pick any characters you like. This would be fine as a teacher. So what are we going to do now? Well, we will move to the last puppet. Bye bye. Yay. Yay. Yay, where are you? Yay. Peekaboo. <gasps> you scared me. Oh, Blondie, where have you been? You are so late. Mm, I'm sorry, Ray. Are you sad? Mm. No, not anymore, Blondie. I love your company. I'm never sad. Well, what did I miss? Did I miss a lot? Actually, you did. You missed a lot. But don't worry. You are always with me in my class. And sure, you will join me in other videos. Okay, then. It's a promise. I will join you in other videos. Okay then, so let us say goodbye to the audience. Okay, ready? Okay, on three. One, two, three. Goodbye! I hope that my mini workshop benefited you in implementing drama in your classes and in incorporating puppets in classrooms. I tried to support you with some sample examples of how to use drama in classes. Hope you liked my work and see you in other videos with extended examples. Big thanks for you for watching my video and big thanks for you my producer.